everyone and welcome to our ICE science experiments from uh, the Public Library for Union County. I'm Miss Mary and today we are doing a couple of different experiments using ice and snow. Our first experiment is to see what makes ice melt the fastest. So today we are using sugar, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. We're starting with a fourth cup of each of the materials that we are using to experiment to see which one will melt the ice fastest. So let's start with our sugar. We're just going to, we're not going to dump the whole one fourth cup in. We'll just start by sprinkling some on it. Just like that. We'll try the salt. And this is just regular table salt. Baking soda. And baking powder. And now we can sit and watch and we can start our timing. It is, and give that two minutes, and whatever time it is when you're watching this experiment, give it two minutes, and then we will see which one has moved, has melted the ice the fastest. We can almost see with the salt that it has started almost immediately. The rest are taking a little bit longer. To do. All of these materials can melt ice because it is lowering the ice temperature to either 32 degrees or higher. So therefore the, the ice cube will begin to melt once it's at, uh, the, the materials are added. It's a common practice to spread ice, salt on the roads. So why was salt picked as a material that was used? As we can see, our ice in the salt is melting. It hasn't started yet with the baking soda and the baking powder, it hasn't started at all. The sugar, it has started to melt somewhat. So let's think about this. Why wouldn't we use sugar on our roads? Well, if we had sugar on the roads, the roads would become sticky and messy that way. And if it would freeze, we would have the sugar laying alongside the road. Baking powder and baking soda don't work as quite as fast. They would take longer. Plus, you wouldn't be able to walk on it right away. Whereas with the salt, you would be able to walk on it uh, almost immediately. This concludes our first experiment for our ICE science program. I'm gonna zoom in on the ice. 